Several viewers have asked if it's okay to take a painkiller like ibuprofen or Tylenol to manage their side effects after getting vaccinated. Now, there is some theoretic concern about reducing your body's immune response. So if you don't need it, don't take it. But if your pain is significant, it's fine to treat it. In fact, I took some ibuprofen about 12 hours after my second vaccination to help manage my side effects, and it didn't seem to be a problem. Now, here are some more of your questions. Camille asks, I'm a teacher with the Detroit Public Schools and recently had my first dose of Moderna. The side effects were more intense than I imagined. I expected the sore arm, but I did not expect nausea and malaise and did not expect to be in and out of bed the next couple days. I wonder if you've heard of severe side effects after the first dose. I'm terrified of the second dose. The first dose is less likely to produce significant side effects, but they can occur. You shouldn't skip the second dose, though. It's necessary to boost the protection to the maximum benefit, making any side effects well worth it. Just be sure you have some time off scheduled to recuperate if you have a similar response. Now, another viewer asks, if you have symptoms after receiving the vaccine, are you contagious? If you have side effects from the vaccine, no, you are not contagious. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines do not contain any live virus. Just to be clear, though, if you are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 after getting the vaccine, you still need to get tested. The vaccine is not instantly effective, which means a person could be infected just before or after getting the vaccine and still get sick. Lisa asks, how long after the second Moderna shot is it fully in effect? The most accurate information I can give is that the Phase 3 trial by Moderna documented a 94% efficacy 14 days after the second dose. The Pfizer vaccine had a documented efficacy of 95% 7 days after the second dose. That said, the effectiveness of the vaccines isn't an on-off switch. There is a protective effect that occurs earlier, even after the first dose. We just don't have enough data to put an exact number on it. Karen asks, one hears a lot about having side effects from the vaccine just means that the vaccine is working to build your immune system. But if you have no side effects, does that mean your immune system is not being bolstered by the vaccine? No. Some people just don't have side effects. Consider yourself lucky. A viewer asks, is it true you should not take any medications the day of your vaccination but take them after? No, you should continue to take all your usual daily medications unless your doctor instructs you otherwise. Now, finally, Simon wrote, it's going to be five days prior to the Super Bowl after I was vaccinated. Can I have a few beers during the game and not have adverse reactions? Okay, so Simon, I am sorry I didn't get to your question before the Super Bowl, but for future festivities, the answer is yes. There is no reason to avoid alcohol after the vaccine.